All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here, talking real music in real time for real people, just like you and me. Uh, more sad news from the world of music as legendary manager Herbie Herbert has passed away at the age of 73, meaning that he's almost the same age as Steve Perry, which is really sad and really tragic. Um, social media reports, and again, I'm not trying to be Mr. Conspiracy Theorist, that uh, Herbie's death was sudden and very unexpected. Uh, so there was no prior illness that was leading up to this. Um, I remember seeing Herbie at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame ceremony. He did look frail. He did look old. Of course, I hadn't seen him in many years. So maybe I was just getting used to the, used to the Herbie of that moment. Um, but again, that was how many years ago now? Three or four? So um, obviously something happened suddenly that nobody was really prepared for. Uh, the social media post that is going around says, rest in peace, the great, the legendary, the unstoppable, the incomparable, iconic rock manager, Herbie Herbert. <clears throat> now, not only was he a great rock manager, but he was an ace at marketing and promotions, uh, one word album titles, uh, you name it. Honestly, the greatest thing Herbie Herbert ever did was bring Steve Perry into Journey. No question about that. Um, Journey was a jam band at that time. Uh, they had a really great vocalist by the name of Greg Raleigh and putting Raleigh and Perry together. Was it a shotgun wedding? I don't know. Eventually the band got used to it and then went on to sell uh, millions of records and have the most downloaded song in the history of downloads. So you got to hand it to Herbie Herbert. Um, the news of Herbie's death was made via social media and it was sudden and family and friends were not expecting it at all. Uh, he's described to be a visionary who prized the joy in life, a truly good man. Herbie was admired in the industry and he was respected. Um, also, you got to give credit to Herbie for something that um, the rock media hates. Uh, Herbie Herbert was very much responsible for inventing corporate rock. A lot of bands in the early 80s kind of adopted the Journey model for success, but Journey did it better than everybody else. They had better material, they had better songwriting, they had better uh, musicians for the most part, and Herbie definitely exploited all that and he pushed Steve Perry to the limit. He really burnt that band out, especially Steve Perry. But uh, he was one of those guys that believed in you got to strike while the iron is hot. And he would strike and strike and strike. Plus, you've got all this marketing. You've got the Journey Frisbee. You've got the Journey Lunchbox. You've got all kinds of great Journey merchandise, including T-shirts. I mean, the concert T-shirt was a thing. But Journey took it to a new art form. I remember going to that Journey show 40 years ago and seeing all these t-shirts, the baseball shirt, which was very popular, all the different items for sale at a Journey concert, the Journey Pez dispenser. I don't know. I'm probably making that up. But there were a lot of Journey things for sale. And Herbie Herbert would be criticized. Steve Perry would later be criticized for this being nothing more than, you know, unbridled capitalism. And like the gentleman said on my page er earlier today, so <laughs> they made lots of money. They made people happy. It was some of the greatest music ever recorded. And Herbie Herbert should get all the credit or much of the credit to bring that talent together. And then to keep, you know, the train from derailing, which was difficult because later it would derail, but to keep those personalities all together because they were very type A in nature. And I think Perry wanted it to be his band at, you know, a later point. And Herbie kind of let that go for a while. And then Herbie even stepped aside when Perry came back and they did Trial by Fire. 
So you got to give Herbie Herbert a ton of credit. He was unique. He was persistent. He was excellent. And uh, his legacy will be one of success and, you know, moving the ball down the field and creating a whole new paradigm in the rock industry. By the way, you won't see that paradigm returning, but that was like the peak of commercial success, really, for, I don't know, other than like the Rolling Stones, I can't think of any other act that sold so many tickets and did so much and had so much available to be purchased and marketed. I can't think of any other band. I mean, sure, uh, there may be a couple of other people that rival that, but you got to give Herbie Herbert his due here. He was a one of a kind. So it'll be interesting to hear from Steve Perry on this or Neil Sean or Jonathan Cain or anybody who spent time around Herbie Herbert. Uh, he was a legend and he will definitely be missed again. Herbie Herbert passes away mysteriously and suddenly at the age of 73.